This video is on thermite welding. Thermite welding is a process that is one of the more rare processes not typically used. Its main application is railroad track or heavy sections of steel they need to weld quickly. Uh, it's a little bit different than a normal welding process in that it's an exothermic reaction which means it happens outside of the weld area. Uh, what they do is they put a mold, and the railroad track would be right here in the mold. They're going to put this mold around it. They're going to take um, thermite, put it in this crucible. Thermite is basically aluminum and iron oxide in a ratio of 1 to 3 by weight. They put it up here. They got these slag pans on the side so that the stuff comes out and goes into the slag pans. Then they light this uh, crucible with a thing that looks like a, like a sparkler. And when this exothermic reaction happens, it happens up here outside of the well area. It gets extremely hot, around 4,500 degrees Fahrenheit. And then it goes down into the actual well joint. It falls down. As it falls down, stuff spews out into these slag pans. It's a really neat process. One of my buddies works for the railroad and he told me when he was going to do the uh, thermite welding, he would let me come and make a video of it. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there, but they, they really don't give you a step-by-step -step process of what's happening. We're going to try and do that. So we're going to get out there into the field and see what we can come up with here. All right, this is the mold. These two pans on the side here are to catch the slag and things coming out. And they put sand on everything to kind of contain it. And on the threaded parts, they put the sand so that nothing sticks to the actual threads. And they're going to put the crucible on the top. All right, this is the thermite in the crucible. They're saying it's a one-shot use. So basically the crucible is a consumable during this process. So they're using propane and oxygen to preheat this and they said they needed five minutes of preheat. This is the preheat. And they're going to take five minutes of preheat before they put the crucible on the top and get this process underway. It's pretty cool. Good. Four ten. Is the preheat pretty critical? To yeah. If you got glasses. I thought we got see, some. Like the rail will turn uh, that reddish, orangish color. So then it, you know it's ready. Oh, okay. Until then. It's... Four forty-five. Yeah. yeah. Pretty quick. Take it there. It's that little sparkler thing, is that your some kind of igniter? igniter. Yeah. Igniter. Thank <laughs> you. 
get all that stuff to burn, then it'll burn that hole through the bottom. Then it just melts down into the mold, right? Pour out, you know. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we've been told it burns between 4,000 and 5,000 degrees. It's pretty hot. Yeah. 140. Can, can you reuse the mold? No. No, the mold's gone too. Oh, these? Yeah, the mold's gone. Yeah. Yeah. You can see it's cracked. Yeah. It's not hot. Nope, when you order these, you order these molds. Crucible and sand. It's all a, a one-time deal. Three thirty. And that thing just shims it off, huh? How else do you do in a day? I mean, we can do, if we're doing these, we could do probably six, six. in a day. Um, usually four though. Yeah. You know, we can four and call it good. Because usually it's something different. This is just a tamp and mm -hmm. uh, all level. I mean, 
took the bars off and the joint bars and pretty much set it right off for us. So. Probably gotta get that off pretty quick, huh? Otherwise it turns into a mess. Don't do it right, you're gonna be torches and stuff off. Oh yeah. And now it's just grinding? Yep, now it's just grinding. Is it before grinding? one on the other side that they already ground. Here's the finish. Ground smooth. All right, we just got back from doing our thermite weld at the railroad. I want to thank those guys at the railroad for showing us how to do that. Hopefully, you learned something, and thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld.